Hey YouTube, how you doing? VT Maestro here. Hope all is well. Well, I'm getting going on the heat pump project and I want to share with you some of the information that I have learned so that uh, if you ever do a heat pump, you can use this information or hey, maybe it's just kind of cool to listen to and check out regarding this fairly new technology, at least for cold climate heat pumps. So uh, heat pumps at the very basic level all they do is move air between the inside of a building and the outside of a building. And they do this over refrigerant lines, as you can see in this picture on the Efficiency Vermont website. By doing that, not a lot of energy is used. You're not using energy to actually make heat or to make air conditioning. So uh, they're very efficient. And uh, when we got started on the project, I first went to Efficiency Vermont to check out information and uh, look at contractors and so forth. So if you'd like more information on heat pumps, obviously you can just Google it. I wanted to show you one YouTube video here by uh, a guy whose channel is named Matt Knows That. And uh, he has a great explanation of heat pumps. He goes through and he talks about it on his video. He talks about efficiencies. He actually goes outside and he takes a look at the compressor and talks about how high to have it off the ground, snow, and so forth. He talks about air conditioning, but uh, I believe this heat pump also does heating. Um, especially in the location that he is in. And so check that out. His site is very good and uh, he has lots of uh, great information. So one of the things uh, moving on here in looking at heat pumps is to uh, do the research obviously on the actual units and Efficiency Vermont offers rebates and that's part of the financial package here. So let's go ahead and take a look at their site here. This is all the heat pumps that are listed on their site which offer rebates or what they call product incentives uh, from Efficiency Vermont. Now Efficiency Vermont is officially a uh, energy utility uh, designed to save people money but everyone pays in on their energy bill uh, to fund Efficiency Vermont. I looked through these and then I uh, looked at certain models and more importantly I looked at installers. <laughs> okay so moving on I want to give you a look at our energy bill for our utility and looking at Green Mountain Power we have a $327 credit and that is for the rest of the year and when all sugar is out here um, I estimate we'll have about $200 of credit come in the March bill so I know I'll have at least $200 to put towards a heat pump for monthly payments and so forth now let's take a look here at uh, some cool examples for a heat pump I got four quotes from four different uh, installers, and uh, let's take a look at each one. Now, I won't mention uh, each installer's name, but I will mention the installer that I chose uh, for the project here. So the first installer was looking at giving us a 12,000 BTU Mitsubishi heat pump system, and the final price would be 3450 Looking at for just our main uh, floor, our main living level. The uh, next quote we had was uh, for a uh, heat pump system for our main level and for our basement. And this price would be $6,600. Our third quote was for both the main level and basement and for two 18,000 BTU units uh, with a final price of $6,250. Uh, up to this point, we had quotes for just Mitsubishi units, and this is for a uh, Dakin unit, which is uh, different from the Mitsubishi. And the last quote we had was uh, for a 15,000 BTU uh, unit on the main living level. So at this point, I had to decide, uh, do we want to do both levels or just one level? So I asked several of the contractors to give me another quote on just a single system because we ended up thinking, you know, uh, we're not sure how much solar we have to make and how much to offset. So we figured that uh, one single heat pump, we should start with that and see how it goes. And uh, if we want, we can also install another pump. Yes, you may be able to save a little bit more money by installing a multi-head system. But in our case, we felt the best fit for us would be going with one single heat pump. I went back to one installer, and they came in with a uh, Mitsubishi uh, 18,000 BTU cold climate heat pump for 36.90, and we're very happy we chose this installer. And I'll show you in the next page uh, what happens when you choose a installer and some of the benefits you get. 
Okay, I'm on Mitsubishi's uh, limited warranty statement page here for heat pumps. If you check out uh, section A and B here, if a heat pump is installed by a regular HVAC contractor, you get a five and seven year warranty on the uh, uh, respective parts here. And if you go with one of their diamond contractors, um, you get a extended warranty, which is good on parts uh, for 12 years. So that's one of the reasons you want to use a um, certified installer by the company, in this case Mitsubishi, because uh, they back their product and uh, they know that a uh, licensed installer or one that's certified by the company is going to do the best job. I could have probably installed this heat pump myself, maybe hired an HVAC guy to come in and pull a vacuum at the end of the project and to um, essentially turn it on and done all the work myself, mounting and doing all the electric um, for the uh, run from the sub panel and so forth. But uh, if I factor in uh, the cost of this heat pump system, it's about roughly $3,000, $3,200 out of pocket. Uh, if I were to buy it myself from like uh, AC Wholesale, some of those places online, once you get the actual heat pump and the uh, evaporator and the line sets and all the accessories, uh, maybe $3,200. So for $3,690 and to have it installed, of course I'm doing my own electric, um, it's a pretty good deal. And, and to get the 12-year warranty, is uh, that's, that's the real reason here I'm going with a uh, licensed installer and a diamond contractor for Mitsubishi. Moving on, let's take a look at financing heat pumps. So this is one of the most important aspects of uh, purchasing and looking at heat pumps. So in my searching, I came up with the uh, Brighter Vermont webpage here, which had uh, many options uh, for low interest loans, lots of banks and credit unions and so forth. One of the ones that stuck out was uh, Neighborhood Works of Western Vermont. If you look at their site here, it's uh, pretty interesting. They're out of Southern Vermont, and uh, they offer, uh, it's really for buying a home, first-time home buyers and so forth, but I noticed they had a lending section and an energy loan section. So I checked this out, and uh, one of the things that's, that kind of struck a bell with me was the fact that they offer on-bill repayment with our power company, which is Green Mountain Power. And if we remember, uh, Green Mountain Power, I have a $327 credit. So we've overproduced and I have extra money. So I went back to GNP and looked to see if I could find information. And of course, I found the same information about Neighborhood Works on GNP. So what this means is uh, we can use our extra solar credits to uh, essentially pay for the monthly payments of a heat pump. So in the end, uh, we recently uh, did head down to uh, Southern Vermont, chose to go with NeighborWorks and uh, close on a loan with them. Uh, we ended up doing uh, roughly uh, putting about $1,000 down in the loan and financing about $2,500. And uh, it seems to have worked out pretty well. Our monthly payment is going to be about $30 a month on the heat pump. This number of $327 will roughly be about $200 uh, come March uh, for that bill. And $200 will easily finance about six months of the heat pump. Also have to remember that we're going to uh, be building new solar this spring to offset the um, um, the energy use from the heat pump itself. So we're pretty excited about that. And we know that uh, another 10 panel array will produce so many X credits and uh, that should also pay for the rest of the uh, monthly cost of the heat pump plus all the energy that the heat pump is going to use. It looks like we have a pretty good uh, Pretty good future here going forth. Okay, so let's wrap things up here. Um, so we're pretty excited about moving forward on this project. Uh, we've selected the uh, Mitsubishi uh, 18,000 BTU heat pump. Here's the uh, one of the papers on it. Uh, and uh, it's cold climate. It's uh, great for energy use. Uh, and we're pretty excited to put it in our house and outside to uh, get this going. It's going to produce, produce some great heat in the wintertime. And, of course, it's going to air condition our main living level. But I want to thank you for watching this video here. As always, please subscribe if you like what you see on this channel. Uh, thumbs up is always appreciated. And uh, take care, and we'll catch you next time.